I picked this up for $5 at a garage sale. It looks like someone's abandoned project or maybe a failed project. The head is loose and it has no markings. The handle is homemade and it is rough. Question going through my mind at the moment is, do I spend 20 hours to make this $5 axe into a $10 axe? Or do I do something else with it? Don't know yet. But what I do know is that I'm definitely gonna keep all the costs down. So everything here will be reused and recycled. Let's take the head off. It's loose, so it should be relatively easy to take off. But actual fact, it was actually really hard. It didn't want to let go. But you know what? I've got a big hammer and a drill. So let's make short work of this. I think an electronicist bath will look after this rust. It looks like just some surface rust and not a whole lot of pitting. This axe has definitely been sanded or polished before, but three or four hours in Eric will look after this. By the way, check out the Making Eric video in my YouTube channel if you want to make your own. Now that the rust has been taken care of, we can start looking at making the surface nice and smooth. Remember to wash the axe head before sanding, something that I obviously forgot to do. Sand and file for a couple of hours, you'll have fun. There is always a temptation to lose patience with the hand sanding and filing. For me it happened too early in this build. So I took out my belt sander and loaded it with an aggressive 80 grit belt. It worked really well. I probably would not recommend going down this path especially if you've got anything that's of historical value. But this head is not, so let the sparks fly. By the way, it's about this point in time when the axe got its revenge on me and my belt sounder broke. We have destroyed any maker integrity in this axe head. It was time to reshape it. Maybe something like a Norlund Voyager or a Collins Hudson Bay, I think. That'll be nice. Let's put some tape on there to get some basic shapes and then attack it with the angle grinder.
It's about this time that I realised that the hand that I was going to use is way too small for the axe eye. But because we're going to recycle everything in this project, replacing the handle was not going to be an option. What we could do, however, is make the eye smaller. Let's break out the gasless MIG welder and do some welding. A satin finish on this axe head would be nice, maybe even perfect. But silly me thinks that spending another 10 hours polishing this bastard is a brilliant idea. About 3 hours into this, I started having second thoughts. I aged during this project, but I'm always happy to get to the polishing wheel stage. The end is not far. I've seen the mess that a flappy disc, a grinding wheel and a belt sander can do to an edge. I've been guilty of destroying heads and equipment in the past doing exactly the same thing. A while ago, I saw a video on sharpening an axe head using a file and the folded rag method. It looked a little bit more controlled. This is my first attempt. It actually works really, really well. Now, onto the handle. Much of the work associated with the axe head was done to accommodate the old handle. This handle, which is obviously handmade, uh, is the wrong timber, the wrong shape and is way too short, will need some love to bring it back into being a useful member of my workshop. So, armed with a new roll of sandpaper and hours of my life that I could have been doing something maybe a little bit more productive, like maybe scratching my nuts in front of the TV, I set about bringing this handle back to life. This is one of the few handles that I've done a reasonable job of shaping the kerf. It is the only head that I've hung where a wooden wedge was not only perfectly made but also installed very nicely. On both these occasions I forgot to hit the record button.
I'm not sure how common this is, or if it is, in fact, the correct way of doing it. Maybe it's a technique for novices like me, but I'm suitably impressed with this eye positioning technique. So we've sanded the handle, and we've fitted the head. Now time for some boiled linseed oil. Remember, oil it once a day for a week, then oil it once a week for a month, then oil it once a month for a year, and then all you need to do is oil it once a year. Your handles will outlive you. This project has now come to an end. I rescued a sad axe that had been sold as garage sale fodder. I've invested some time into making it into something nice. Will it be swung in anger? Hmm, I'm not sure. But for now it is the shiniest axe in my axe holder. Have I turned the Chinese axe into a Norland Voyager? No, but I have made it nicer. Have I turned a $5 axe into a $10 axe? Well, maybe, but I didn't do this for the money. After all, if you look at the stats at the end of this video, to make a 15 minute production, I shot 10 hours of footage. I spent 20 plus hours working on this job while I was on the workbench. And the job spanned three weeks. Won't make me a millionaire, but I did enjoy myself.